Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Astrological Forecast for the Sign of Cancer of 2019 of June. Um, your season, Cancer, is fast approaching. And I am going to be offering a reading to you today from the 24 karat gold deck of Nefertari, Friday of Ramses II. Spirit, come through. Please show us what you have to say to our sign, Cancer. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, One of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Higher Fent, Limiting Beliefs. All right, so I feel that we're trapped in our own emotions towards our goals right now, Cancer. And um, I'm seeing that heavily coming through in this poll here. Um, I have for you first the Two of Pentacles. So I feel that we may be indulging ourselves in comforts. We may be buying a lot of things, buying things for people that we love and care about, gifting to other people. And the Two of Pentacles making a connection. Maybe we are making a deal for someone to agree to disagree. And um, I feel that this may be something that um, we're doing in a repeating pattern because we are currently in Saturn retrograde. And um, that's the planet when in retrograde is dealing with our past karma, past mistakes, past things that were once patterns of ours that we are trying to break free of. And um, that's coming through. You're trying to break free of an old mentality here, and that's the Seven of Wands, okay? I feel that we've been saying yes too much. We've said yes way too much. And I think that it is hard and it is heartbreaking as for you cancer to say no, because we like to see our loved ones happy, our partner happy, things of that nature. I feel that you're going to have to say, in order for us to reach our goal, we're going to have to remain on the path that we've been on. And we're going to have to really push through this month frugally and push through with this month um, focusing on more on our goals instead of really focusing on a quick a quick one minute fix type of uh, moment of happiness uh, things of that nature so a lot of overindulgences and in that energy there I'm seeing Eight of Pentacles. This is going to be a month of good news um, for something for financial. I feel a lot of people are looking, uh, perhaps if we're looking to buy a house or get that car loan, your hard work will be paying off, but it's going to really involve you on your decisions now um, towards going throughout this month coming up that we're in now is the first. It's going to revolve around your decisions now to remain steadfast and to saying no to certain offers our loved ones are asking of us. Um, I feel that we have to buckle down and prepare ourselves to what we need to invest in personally. And that's going to take you into a new chapter, Cancer. So the winds of change have arrived for you this month. And that's the One of Wands coming forward for you. The One of Wands is saying, you have a new adventure ahead of you. You have a new life path. The bull represents the animal that's helping pull the wagon that is tilling that that is um, tilling the field, and I feel that um, where we may be going, let's say if we're buying a new car, we may need to um, get it uh, adjusted, um, a new plates, things of that nature. If we're getting a new house, we may be doing some painting, things of that nature. So we're going to be getting our shoes into something new. And it's going to be um, exciting for us. It's going to be very uplifting for us. But I feel that you're going through a lot of quick minute decisions. I feel that we've been kind of drowsy on our responsibilities. We've kind of, um, our current life responsibilities that we're reflecting on now, we've been kind of 
nonchalantly going about not really caring about them. Maybe we left the water on in our house and the sink overflowed or we just got a high water bill, things like just little things. Um, our lack of ambition has really kicked us in the butt. And I feel that we have a wake-up call coming on for us right now. And um, I kind of feel that um, just our lack of response or a lack of even more corrective response for those who are asking too much of us has been costing you. So don't be afraid to ask for help. That's really the big thing that comes through here. And that's coming through organization with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen moves forward um, in command um, towards organization. The Pentacles represents finances. The Pentacles represents completeness, wholeness. The divine feminine aspect is in this card. This is an earth energy. This represents grounding with ourselves. So our money is really going to have to go towards our goals this month and not so much towards what wants, demands, and needs are coming from our loved ones, coming from uh, people around us. And I feel that this could be inhibited quite strongly. Maybe we have a belief system that we're holding on to. Maybe we belong to organization. Maybe we belong to a church. Maybe we belong to something externally in our world that we take part in, that we need to step back from. The card of the Hierophant says, let go of what's holding you back, um, what's making decisions for you. The Hierophant says, whatever is in your life right now making decisions for you, Cancer, don't hold on to them because they're only going to be chains in your reality. If we let go, if we break free from them, how can they withhold us? How can they define us? How can they make us something that we are not? How can that really change the perception when we let go? For example, if we feel that we're unable to do something and we hold on to that belief cancer, it's not going to manifest for you. So the higher fence says, why is your lack of ambition created an obstacle to I can't? It's only come from you. And I'm feeling that um, June is really going to kick you in the butt this time, Cancer. And I'm feeling that this is going to be a month of, you know, enough playing around. I'm going to say no for the rest of the month. I'm going to take better care of my finances. I'm going to take better care of myself this time. I'm not going to allow others to walk and step over me and try to make the decisions for me anymore. It's time that I let go of the emotional aspects of myself and really focus on taking that frustration and molding it into authority. Frustration is transforming towards authority towards you, Cancer, this month, and it's going to be a challenge for you. And the Hierophant wants you to let go. The Hierophant challenges us to let go a belief system, a... Um, Something that defines us that can no longer necessarily be direct into our reality. We can't allow that to weigh us down. So, Cancer, that is my reading for you. It has been a pleasure of mine to give you this transmission. And until next time, Cancer, I will see you for the month of June reading. Thank you. Check out my personal page. I'm the Claire Audience Indigo Martian or Sirius. Catch my live shows. Catch my readings. Catch um, and book appointments at the link below in the description of the video. Until next time, thank you, Cancer.